Technology is expanding and advancing at never-before-seen rates. And yet, countless discoveries are leaving even the most educated of scientists, historians, and archaeologists scratching their heads year after year. These unique findings from the past give us a glimpse into life as it were, but they also invite far more questions than answers. How did the Nazca people carve such unwaveringly straight shapes? What is the real purpose behind Stonehenge, and how did it get there in the first place? And what's this megalopolis found in 2019 that the science world can't stop talking about? Let's take a dive into the amazing, mysterious world of yesteryear. Egypt is infamous for its remarkable historical finds. All we have to mention are the pyramids, and you'll quickly agree. Those world wonders go back thousands of years. But the Valley of the Kings? Well, this marvelous treasure revealed a number of new discoveries as recently as October of 2019. We've known about the Valley of the Kings for a while. It's located next to the city of Luxor and plays host to a number of royal 3,000-year-old tombs. That said, archaeologists were never expecting to uncover a find of such magnitude in 2019. In the Western Valley, they discovered ancient workshops, an area used to bake bread and store food and water, a room dug into the valley that was used for mummification, and pottery with writing on it that left behind mysterious messages carved in by the workers. Historians believe that the Valley of the King's discoveries point to a time 3,000 years ago, but at the site of Anasor in Israel, the discovery dates back even further. Around 35 miles or 57 kilometers north of Tel Aviv, a 5,000-year-old Early Bronze Age megalopolis was uncovered. Archaeologists have been calling it the Early Bronze Age New York of the region, suggesting that it was one of the first complex cities in what is now Israel. Back then, it would have housed around 6,000 people. That's a big population for such an ancient time period. Over the past few years, excavations have been taking place in order to build a new road. Little did the construction workers know that they were about to uncover a city littered with millions of pottery fragments, flint tools, stone vessels, and a large temple filled with figurines. One of the ancient city's most perplexing features was this huge stone basin filled with liquids. Experts suggest that it was used for religious rituals, although we'll never know for sure. What's your guess? From ancient Israel over to the United Kingdom, the recent discovery of a 2,200-year-old grave near Pocklington, England, sent historians into a headspin. Inside the 2,200-year-old grave, archaeologists found an array of stunning materials. They found an intricate Iron Age bronze shield, a chariot, and perhaps most bizarrely, two ponies buried in a leaping pose. Experts are calling this 2019 discovery one of the most crucial finds in the UK's history. They're not sure exactly why he was buried alongside the chariot and the horses, but it does hint to the fact that this man would have been of significant importance in local society. The shield, as you can see, is no trinket. It's a brute of a tool. We all know about the Great Wall of China. It's said to be visible from space. Mm, not so sure about that. But it clearly boasts as impressive a resume as any. However, back in 2019, another ancient wall came to light. It stretched around 71 miles. Analysis from Sajad Alabiegi, an assistant professor of Iranian archaeology at the Razi University in Karmanshah, suggests that up to 1 million cubic meters of stone were used for its construction. Make no mistake, this would have required significant resources in terms of workforce, materials, and time all of which modern experts can't decipher the plausibility of. The truth is that, despite scientific findings, we still don't know how old this wall really is, nor how it was constructed. Pottery found beside the wall points to a time between the 4th century BCE and the 6th century CE. They think that either the Parthians or the Sassanians were behind its construction. But at this point, there are still more questions than answers. Hopping over from Iran to the dry desert of southern Peru, the mystery continues with the 300 or so enormous figures etched into the ground that create what we call the Nazca Lines. Take a look. We've got a monkey, a spider, what looks like an astronaut, plus a hummingbird, a dog, a tree, a pair of hands, and more. They really are amazing. Covering an area of about 19 square miles or 50 square kilometers, the geoglyphs lines combine for an astounding length of 808 miles. There's no way that these could have been built by hand, right? Thought to date back between 200 BCE and 500 CE, to this day, 
The Nazca Lines remain one of Earth's greatest mysteries. Plenty of theories have been put forth. Some say that these designs were part of a ritual to the gods. Others say that the ancient builders simply got creative with their irrigation techniques. The bottom line is, we'll never know for sure. Apart from Indiana Jones, try as they might, nobody has ever been able to find the Ark of the Covenant. What is it, you ask? As told in the Book of Exodus, the Ark of the Covenant was the gold-encrusted wooden chest that contained the stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. For a quick history lesson, the first temple in Jerusalem was destroyed in 587 BCE by a Babylonian army, and vanishing along with it was the Ark of the Covenant. Since then, people have scoured the area in search of this holy relic, without success. Some ancient reports suggest that the Ark made its way to Babylon. Others indicate that the Ark was buried beneath Jerusalem somewhere, or could it simply have been destroyed for good? More modern thinking reports indicate that the Ark is actually hiding within a monastery in Ethiopia. At the end of the day, we're grasping at straws. Historians still can't explain what happened to this prize item. Do you think it's still out there somewhere? The Ark of the Covenant might elude us indefinitely, but another prehistoric monument sits right under our noses, smack bang in the middle of Wiltshire, England, within view of the A303 highway. We have no idea how the stone blocks of Stonehenge arrange themselves in such unique formation. Nonetheless, the ancient site is visited by over one million people per year. A few ponderers maintain that Merlin used his magical abilities to transport the stones from Ireland. Others say they were the work of Vikings. What do you think? As infamous as Stonehenge is among the prehistoric-focused community, there's actually another astonishing discovery, sitting no less than just two miles away. In 2015, a second series of giant stones were discovered. This is Superhenge, a collection of 15-foot-tall rock slabs. Researchers maintain that Superhenge was part of a much larger Neolithic monument thought to have collapsed over four and a half thousand years ago. But that's where their knowledge comes to an abrupt halt. Swiveling over from stone monoliths to stone spheres, take a look at the Bolas de Piedra, or the Stone Balls, found over in Costa Rica, located on the Diquis Delta and on the Isla del Caño. That's here and here. These fascinating ancient monuments invite a number of unanswerable questions. How did they get there? What was their purpose? Who made them? There are plenty of theories, of course, but for the most part, their existence remains an unsolved mystery. Certain ideas point to their use for astronomical purposes, while countering beliefs suggest that the spheres may have acted as guidance systems pointing the way to significant places. Those with a slightly more ludicrous train of thought like to theorize about them being weapons used by ancient giants, but we'll let you decipher that one for yourself. In 1974, workers were digging a well near the city of Cheyenne in China's Shaanxi province when they stumbled across one of the most miraculous archaeological finds of the 20th century. Within three separate underground pits, an estimated 8,000 life-size terracotta figures were uncovered. Every single terracotta warrior is intricate and individualized. No two statues look the same. For this reason, theories suggest that each statue's appearance was based on a real soldier who served in the emperor's army. We know that the soldiers were carved for the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, back in the year 200 BCE, in order to serve him in the afterlife. How could excavators find 8,000 life-size statues and yet still be unaware of the location of the man which they were built to symbolically protect? It's assumed that he rests in the pyramid-shaped mausoleum adjacent to the army. However, nobody has ever entered said mausoleum, so for now, it's just guesswork. Moving on, in 1952, this curious ancient copper scroll was dug up in Qumran, not too far from the shore of the Dead Sea in Israel. Found alongside the famous Dead Sea Scrolls, this particular copper piece dates back nearly 2,000 years and, at its core, is thought to represent a treasure map. Researchers believe that the scroll points to a bounty that was hidden by locals when they were under threat from the Romans. But that's the problem. Finding it, there is no indication of location, and to this day, Researchers are clueless as to whether the so-called treasures actually exist. Don't go anywhere just yet, because it's time for a quick bonus entry. Check this out. In 2011, this giant, mysteriously metallic ball simply fell from the sky and landed in Namibaya on a remote grassland area about 460 miles from the capital of Windhoek. 
Weighing 13 pounds and with a circumference of almost 4 feet, the mysterious space ball sparked plenty of panic. And as you could expect, conspiracy theorists were jumping for joy. The most logical answer, however, is that it was most likely a fuel tank that dislodged from an unmanned rocket. Experts say it's a 39-liter hydrazine bladder tank. What's the oldest thing that you've ever stumbled upon? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for checking out The Richest. See you next time and have a great day!